Billy. It's been dubbed a sports car for the skies. Luxury British car maker and uh, car maker Aston Martin has unveiled a concept three-seater aircraft at the Farnborough Air Show and hopes to have a flying version ready for the next show in two years' time. This report from Reuters. James Bond would certainly approve. This is Aston Martin's vision for a luxury personal aircraft. The Volante Vision concept design has vertical takeoff and landing capabilities and would hit speeds of around 200 miles per hour. Unveiled at the Farnborough Air Show, Aston Martin is joining the likes of Airbus and Uber in a bid to revolutionise the way people travel. The same way that, that you have Uber uh, and you have an Aston Martin, you'll have Uber in the skies and you'll have Aston Martin in the skies. So there will be a luxury element to the uh, low altitude aerospace market and we see that as very organic for Aston Martin to look into entering that. They've now partnered with Rolls-Royce to develop the propulsion system for the three-seater craft. It feels like a fighter jet, but at the same time it has the Aston Martin luxury. We are using a combination of advanced motors, generators, power electronics and batteries all coupled together to make that Rolls-Royce propulsion system. Cranfield University scientists are on board to integrate AI-powered autonomous capabilities. So the concept is to take it through being semi-autonomous and then to being fully autonomous in due course. Obviously you've got to detect what's going on in that external environment and then turn that around incredibly quickly in the computer system with the artificial intelligence built in to actually achieve the necessary level of autonomy. As with Aston Martin's famous sports cars, Valente's clientele will need deep pockets. Look, this is clearly a luxury object. It's a sports car for the skies, so uh, pricing is going to be uh, commensurate with that. So it's uh, you know certainly into the seven figures. If the Volante concept does take off, it will be years before it becomes a reality. Enough time, perhaps, for James Bond to save up the deposit. Uh, that report from Reuters.